Hi, I'm Ethan from Monte Carlo, and in this short video, we're going to be exploring some of the key tactical value that Monte Carlo provides. Specifically, we'll be talking through how Monte Carlo can help mitigate the risk of bad data flowing to end users, as well as reduce the spend on data quality in relation to detecting incidents and resolving incidents when they arise. So we're actually first going to start this video in something like Slack, where Monte Carlo is going to alert when data breaks. And we have a couple of really good examples here. Driven by machine learning, Monte Carlo has detected that we have this invoice table. And for some reason, there's been a large addition of records to this table, significantly more than we would normally expect. Subsequently, Monte Carlo has also detected that I have a field in this table called status. And for some reason, we have a high rate of the status pending more than we normally do. And finally, we have this field called invoice quantity. Invoice quantity typically is around 88% unique for this particular table. And now we see about 45% uniqueness for this particular point in time. So what Monte Carlo is going to do is first proactively detect incidents via machine learning, but then we're going to provide some rich context in terms of what that incident actually represents to the business. So specifically speaking, we're looking now into Monte Carlo platform and what we're actually able to determine is based upon automated lineage and some other things we're pulling through, not only did this thing happen, right? So we added 5,000 records to this table, but who actually cares, right? At the end of the day, this invoice table is powering something like 238 queries per week, as well as 29 downstream reports and dashboards, right? So specifically, we can look through a list of those to validate what are these dashboards and who's using them. At the end of the day, detection is all about how do we proactively determine what's happened before an end user is the one that's alerting our team. But the other half of this is how do we determine priority and triage incidents? And the real key piece here is can we resolve incidents before they hit an end user's desk? So past just Monte Carlo as a smoke detector, we do have the ability to analyze some root cause here. So specifically via lineage, I had the ability to view upstream root cause. So imagine mid pipeline, I, I record a data incident. I can now look at this particular data incident in the context of this pipeline. And it turns out this incident actually originated in this table. So if I were to look downstream, what I can actually see is this incident flowed from my raw table to my staging table, but it looks like we were able to actually catch it before it hit our prep, our reporting, or even our downstream BI assets, right? So in this case, we were able to proactively detect and resolve the incident. But the other piece that we wanna talk through is some of the automation that Monte Carlo provides around what actually happened in giving rich context. Nine times out of 10, the technical data teams are not able to actually determine what this data represents or what normal looks like. So here we're doing things like calling out automated correlation. So we added 5,000 records to this table, which is anomalous. What we're also doing is we're querying the underlying data and saying, look, something happened here in relation to pending invoices. We can tell this because of the 5,000 records that were added, something like 1,000 records at this point in time and another 1,000 records an hour later, were of status pending. So we can determine that the vast majority of these records were pending invoices. The other thing we can actually do is look at past incidents on this table. So not only can we determine what happened this time, we can determine whether this is a recurring incident and whether this is something that we've actually already solved in the past, thus reducing the amount of time I have to spend here. And the last piece is providing this rich context to me as a data engineer or a data professional. I can now look at a, a, an additional incident, that notification that we received around the uniqueness of our invoice quantity. So if I package all this information together, we added 5,000 records to a table mostly around pending invoices. And I can also say that the uniqueness of this particular field, identifying invoice quantity, is historically something like 88% that just dipped to 45%. So again, all this is machine learning driven, automate, automation first. And the idea is giving all this context to a data team for me to potentially pass upstream to my applications team or work with the domain owners and explain very concisely, we added a lot of records, looks like it's pending invoices, and I have a feeling that this is actually duplicate data that's coming through from the source system, a much easier scenario to resolve than is just being notified of an incident or waiting for an end user to actually report an incident in the worst case scenario. 